Hi beauties, welcome back to another episode of Beauty Within. It's your host Rowena and Farisha. <laughs> Farisha. <laughs> and today we have a very special installment. As you guys know, the Affordable Dupes series used to be a Rowena thing, but today <laughs> we're gonna make it a Felicia and Rowena thing. I came in like a bad smell. This is the fifth or sixth installment of the Affordable Dupe series. So what are some brands we're gonna be talking about, Val? Okay. <laughs> so first of all though, like kudos to Rowena, cause up until now she's mentioned probably a hundred products, if Within not the dupes, more. Yeah. <laughs> yes, for the dupes. So today we're gonna be mentioning some of our personal favorite brands like Glow Recipe, Tatcha, Ven, Pharmacy, Laneige. Yes, the cream skin. So we've talked talked to death about these main anchor products and they are a little bit on the pricier side. So we racked our little noggins <laughs> to see which one came closest in terms of comparison, the formulation, um, and ingredients. So usually we talk through everything in the studio, but today we wanna to try something a little different where we'll try on the two products side by side, explain the ingredients and the differences as we try it on our faces. So you guys get a live demonstration. Yes, it's always interesting to like have them literally in your face side by side yeah. to feel it, smell it, and give you guys all the raw source yes. information. So let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> That's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> clap, clap, clap! <laughs> I so feel it. <laughs> How do we move around now? Every <laughs> angle is being recorded. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna be testing the two buds the Tatcha rice wash. And the Nine Wishes rice wash. Rice wash. <laughs> Battle of the rice wash. So we'll put half half, I guess. Yeah, Tasha right side, Nine Wishes left side. Okay. Going for it. Do it. This is a beautiful texture. So we're gonna put them to the test side by side. And this is like the first time we even know what it's gonna be like. Hmm. The Nine Wishes is more coarse. The Tatcha is more finer grain. But actually, apart from the rice grains, the texture is actually very similar. They are. Wow. Tatcha's is more foamy. Nine Wishes is a bit more um, gel-like. Yes. Yes, especially if you dry cleanse. It's like so similar. They are. <laughs> wow. I feel like if you gave it to me blind, I'd have a hard time telling. <laughs> you know, like they even emulsify similarly. Very, yeah. Hmm. Amazing. All the rice, um, what do you call it? The rice things. The micro, too. micro granules. Yeah. That's the thing that I love most about the rice wash is that compared to the exfoliating powders, they're not as coarse. They dissolve over time. Yeah. Like it just becomes a foam. They both come off very similarly. Hmm. This is the Nine Wishes. This is Tatcha. Wow, I'm actually shocked. Okay, good. Then. The Nine Wishes is actually more supple. I think it's softer. Really? Yes, this one, right? Yeah. This yeah. Is softer. Yes. The Nine Wishes is softer. Amazing. This one's like slightly drier. For me. Yeah. Same. Oh my. Hey. <laughs> Conclusions were made that day. Dupe. <laughs> so the Tatcha is 35, the Nine Wishes is $20 from YesStyle. Okay, so next we have the Trader Joe's. This is the Watermelon Facial Mist and the Glow Recipes Watermelon Mist. Yes. A lot of you guys recommended this, so thank you for letting us know. We got our hands on it somehow. I think they're sold yeah. out in a lot of places. Yeah. But, um, Let's give it a try. They were promoting that across all the Trader Joe's oh. stores for a while, yeah. Um, so left side is dupe, right side is original. Yeah. Oh, the spray is so like, it's like this. <laughs> yes, it was like it's long. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and then it almost misses your face so in the middle. I'm just gonna go like this. Yes, that's actually a good point. Well, because you know, if you 
spray it on your hand, your middle is dry, Empty. and then the water's all around. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> it's like a radial spray. Like, that's a good point, because remember when we did the interview the with them? The mist. Yeah. Yes. It was like a... The uh, spray was specifically designed to be like a mister. And it is one of the finest mists I think we've used in anything. Here, try this one. The Trader... <laughs> this reminds me of a childhood scent. I can't put my finger on it. He just sprayed my eyeball. <laughs> it's like very hard to... Yes! It's like... Not either a spray. Jolly Rancher or it smells like shampoo, you know, like herbal essence. Yeah. Oh, it smells like herbal essence. Yeah, <laughs> like back in the day, right? Yeah. And I used to want it the so bad. The clear bottles. Yes. And the yellow. The yellow, the yellow, the yellow flower. <laughs> it smells exactly like it. What are you? Wow. So that's what herbal essence was. Okay. Yes, there is no way to apply this to your face. <laughs> Chicken pot pie is done! <laughs> we don't not like fragrance or yeah. scent. Like, we don't mind it at all, but this is too much. There's a lot. Yeah. Wow. This one is very obvious that this is the, the like, luxurious one. This just is kind of poor form, but what other ingredients do they have? There's watermelon seed oil, there's actually rice bran oil, jojoba seed oil, watermelon fruit water, and all of these are like the first four ingredients, which is great. Okay, feeling though? They actually feel both quite satisfying. I think the glow recipe is a bit more hydrating. Yeah. For me, it's like very similar, but it's just the even spread of this, like I would much rather pay more for this. The fact that it sprays like this, it literally sprays like this. Yeah. Like a demogorgon. Like this. Yeah, I was just gonna, I was like, it's like a demogorgon eating your face. <laughs> How much is that? The Miss is 28. Uh -huh. The Trader Joe's is $4. Cool. <laughs> well, since it's $4, like, who's you gonna say, say don't buy it, right? Like, buy it and try it and then if you don't like it, there's $4. I can't even buy a coffee these days for $4. <laughs> Introduce it. We have the fresh instant perfecting mask that I love, the black tea, and then we have the Hamish black tea mask pack. Okay, so when I first used that one, I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere like this. Oh, but you know how the this texture. Is... Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's like that beautiful whipped moussey velvet. Okay, you know how this black tea one has like a slightly what do you call it? It's like refreshing. Oh, it tingles. Yeah. It's got that. Like this one tea. doesn't. So yours is on the left. Okay, this mask is like my self-care mask. Isn't the whole it? black tea line. Yeah, it the is. kombucha essence uh -huh. is also a self-care thing. You know, when you're feeling down in the dumps and you're like, I just want to look beautiful. Yes. I feel beautiful. I'm going to pamper myself. <gasps> it's just so delicious. And I know a lot of you also like I like want to try this, but it is so expensive for a mask, right? It's like 98 bucks or something. Close to 100 for the big jar. Yeah. Nostalgia. <laughs> the smell of nostalgia and filial piety. <laughs> <laughs> and Confucius. So Hamish is known for their, what do you call it? The cleansing balm. Yes. 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 Ah! It was the very first cleansing balm I ever used. You a peasantry. Wow. Fresh is definitely more moussey. Yeah. Like it's a lot more firm moussey. mousse. Yeah. But this comes close. Like it's very applaudable because it feels good. Yeah, it's the most similar texture I've ever felt. Because not many masks do this texture, huh? No. Prior to this, Fresh was the only one. I would say the Hamish is a bit more hydrating. Like it glides a little bit more mm. across your face. Yes. The Fresh, because it has that moussey, velvety texture, there's a bit more of a resistance. Yeah, it's just thicker. Yeah. <laughs> resistance. <laughs> I was like, pull? What is that word? You know what's interesting? What? They also contain very similar ingredients. So the fresh one has black tea extract, black brie leaf extract, lychee seed extract, um, and then the Hamish one 
also has lychee fruit extract, mm. but it also has aloe leaf and centella asiatica, Ooh. as well as the black tea. More soothing. Yeah. So more soothing. This one's more kind of like dense and rich. Pricing wise, the Hamish is 22 and the fresh is 92. You can almost buy five of these before you even like knock on the door of this one. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> can I come in here? <laughs> Hello. Am I good enough for you yet? <laughs> oh, but yes, as it settles, you can feel this one kind of like cooling and tingling. Yeah, which is what that one's known for. I just really love this whole line. I don't know. If you guys are looking to splurge, I feel like this is a great line to splurge on. This was the first thing that I fell, fell in love with from Fresh. Because when I read it, I was like, okay, instant perfecting. Let's see how instant perfecting it is. Yeah. And when I washed it off, I was like, oh, oh it came as one of the Sephora Freebie. mini, like the 500 point. Mm. So I tried it in like a little pack and it made me buy a big the whole one, thing. So. Those samples work. True. Okay, so let's wash it off. It's crazy how cooling the fresh one it is. It is. It's still lingering. It's like the water was even colder yeah. on my face when you wash it off. They Ooh. both feel very hydrated. They both feel very plump. Yeah. I think tingling aside, they're very similar. Mm. In terms of like the hydration, not okay. hydration, but like the suppleness. Softness. Plumps, how it plumps up your skin. Yeah. And they look equally as kind of like brightened yeah. in a way. So I would say that I think if, if people are super sensitive, then you don't like this effect. Yeah. Then you can definitely try the Hamish because it offers very <laughs> Let's just things. say the tingling, I don't know if it's worth an extra math, an extra $70. $70. <laughs> Oh my god. But it is like more of that luxurious, like, firm whipped mousse. It is. But this is a, a good dupe. This is a really good dupe. It's amazing, right? It's a really, really good dupe. Bing! Bing! We're proud of this one. Yes. Good so job. good. Good job, Feli. Thanks, Ololi, for suggesting this. <laughs> Coming in hot. Yeah. Next mask duo. We're gonna do the Pharmacy Honey Potion, one of our favorites. I really love it. Because it's like an at-home, like, spa facial yeah. mask. It heats up and it's really nice. And then we're gonna put it against the I'm From Honey Mask. So Rose already talked about these two. The Bliss, the Fresh, and also these two together. But today we thought we'd try them side by side to give you real time feels about the two. Real time feels! <laughs> so with this one, a tiny bit goes a really long way and to activate it, you actually have to work it in. And a it tiny heats bit goes up. A long way. Same with this too. Mm. Okay, so as you work this one in, when you start circularing it, I cannot think of an English, when you start working this one in, it heats up on your face! Oh my gosh, it, we went from cooling with the fresh and now warming. Mm. It's like, I just like working it because then it gets wider and wider and smoother and smoother. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, isn't it so funny? You're yeah. hot, then you're cold. You're yes, then you're no. You know how when you have a fever, you have hot breath? Yeah. I have hot breath through my just right here. nostril. <laughs> and then the I'm from is just a completely different texture. It is. It's like caramel. Melted it caramel. Is. It is. even looks like caramel. And it's like really smooth. Okay, so like I use this, you know how it's really hot in New York? Yeah. And I was sweating after the shower. And the <laughs> mask actually dripped into my <laughs> eye and like into my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, ew. And then it started sweet? burning my eye. Uh -huh. Yeah, I licked it. I think out of all the masks though, this will be the most nourishing because honey Probably. is the most like, like a warm The best dupe for honey is honey. Just honey. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave this on for eight to 10 minutes and then wash it off and we'll be back. No, come with me. So this is, <laughs> we had it on for like, <laughs> 45 minutes! But this one stayed white. 
right? Yeah, mine yeah. started to come off. I felt it tingling. Oh! Cool. And she experienced oh, the, the drip. drip, the nose drip. Yes, it was the nose. It melts. Oh, the sheer stuff. Dude, doesn't your face just feel like you don't even need to moisturize yeah. after a honey mask? It's so amazing. So the pharmacy has the proprietary honey blend as well as propolis and royal jelly. So it's got all of the, it's like the trifecta of yeah. like honey. The I'm from also has 38.7% of natural honey. It's also got the snail mucin. Ooh. Oh, that's why it's so like, Silky, like, yeah. yeah. And on top of that, it's got shea butter and macadamia seed oil. The after effect feeling is almost the same, I have to say. Yeah. But I still really love this. I think I just enjoy the application of it. Texture wise, the fresh and the I'm from is the most similar. They're both like caramelly deep brown. Yes. <laughs> Except the fresh, once again, is like firm, caramel. Dense. And the I'm from is a bit more... Like pudding. Silky. Yeah. And texture-wise, the pharmacy and the bliss is a lot more similar. Mm. Dude, these dupes! These dupes. The more affordable options are killing yes, it! They are. Next is... Laneige Cream Skin. And Cosrx's new Light Fix Real Water Toner to Cream. Bing! Okay, so we were really excited when we saw yes. this because we're like, what? It morphs texture again? And you guys know that this Laneige one goes from like a toner consistency to a moisturizer. So that one goes from... So this one turns from a cream to water. Like it produces water <laughs> on your skin as you apply it. Put it's it crazy. The first time that we put it on our hand... Our like, whole team was like, oh, give it to me. <laughs> yeah, I wanna try, I wanna try. It's amazing. So the reason why we paired these two is because of the fact that like the texture change is so amazing. Yeah. But that one goes from like cream to water. This goes from water to cream. Yeah. So we're still going to put them against each other and it'll be interesting to see how hydrating they yeah. are. Yeah. Oh, this one has a very faint fragrance. Mm. Oh. oh, it's like a water cream. Yeah. Oh my God, amazing. Oh There's my that. goodness, it literally just like becomes a splash on your face. So the Laneige you can actually pat in. This mm -hmm. one you need to like work it in a little. Yeah, right? like this one is actually already, it's like mattified on my skin already. Really? Yeah, this one's like full on water. <sighs> The Laneige has the white tea <laughs> extract in this. And a lot of amino acids. Yeah. And then there's also metafoam seed oil in this one and green tea and vitamin E. This is innovation. Yes. I remember when we first talked about it, I was mind blown how much work went into creating something like this. Turning a moisturizer into a toner form. That's yeah. hard. That's science. <laughs> That's science. And this, what this actually reminds me a lot of is Purito. Because in here there's the seawater, there's also mm. niacinamide, there's also sea buckthorn and bergamot fruit oil. Also, it's like the sea buckthorn 70 yes. water cream. Yeah. Mm. That's why I think the smell is so similar. Mm. If you enjoy lightweight, like water bursting effects. effects, you will love this. Like, get your little hands and fingers and toes all over that. <laughs> you will not regret it. Oh my god. Like, it literally turns to little specks of water. It <gasps> Was it a fair dupe? Eh, I don't think it's like They really do similar close. but different things. They yeah. do similar things in different ways. Yes. And I think this one will be a divide depending on what you prefer. Because this is like a toner, applies like a toner, but this applies like a... Cream. Yeah. Like a gel, like a gel water cream. Last step. Moisturization. We have the Ven Vitamin B Activated All-in-One Concentrate and the Repeat All-in-One Multi Item. So the reason why we put these together, Ven, as we know, like streamlines basically toning serum moisturizer as a one-step yes. straight after cleansing. Yes. Same thing with this one too. 
This is also toner serum emulsion. Yeah. I mean, they're both marketed and designed to be used as like a one step, but the ingredients are quite different. See, that's the thing. I feel like with Ben, because they have very specific botanical and like root extract that they use, mm. it's very specific to Ben. And yeah. for this one, they have like all the vitamin Bs you can think of. There's panthenol, there's niacinamide. For the repeat, which is actually a brand from Neogen. Yes. Um, like their it's cleaner, like clean. their clean little sister, <laughs> clean older sister, clean cousin. And there's niacinamide as a fourth ingredient and also a bunch of different botanical extracts and fruit extracts. So there's lotus seed, rose hip, avocado, and olive. Um, so oh. <gasps> wow. Squirt attack. Okay. Squirt to squirt attack. Where are you going? I'll clean this that one later. Looks like this. This one looks like this. Okay. Ooh, this is a Repeat very. Repeat definitely a lot more watery. Yes, it's very runny. Oh, it's very different. Mmm. When you put it side by side, the repeat is definitely a lot more like gliding. Yes. The then you need to work it in a little, but they both absorb very quickly. Oh my god, this is delicious. It's like a water cream. Yeah. Ooh. But actually, you know what? Like, this makes sense to me that it combines toning serum moisturizer mm -hmm. because the texture is very similar to all those three combined. Yeah. Whereas this one is more like a straight up moisturizer to me. Yeah. Wow, I really enjoy the texture of this. So good. So there is dimethicone in this, and he has, and I just don't really like the feeling of dimethicone, but it, because it is further down the list, I actually don't really feel it. And then this one, it doesn't glide on as like lusciously, but yeah. it, it's still a really nice lotion yeah. consistency. And this one, <laughs> brace yourself, $185. This one is $34, <laughs> and it's currently on sale on Neogen for $17. <laughs> <laughs> so this is 10 times the price of this <laughs> with tip <laughs> my goodness oh my god okay yeah. but to be fair you guys know how much I love the Ven all-in-one especially with the vitamin B because they have the traditional ingredients in yeah it, there's know? a lot more botanical and root extracts in here that are unique to Korea or like yeah. unique to the climate there but if you're just talking about the way that it feels the end feeling very similar yeah the application of it is probably a little different and i think long-term use will also be different you'll probably get different results from both but i feel like if we're younger like in our 20s yeah this is more than enough so that's our testing portions at home back to you guys in the studio back to you guys in the studio <laughs> All right, so that was our dupes series. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And as always, dupes, for the most part, it's very, very rare to find like an exact replica mm. of like the original, right? Because like we talk about this all the time. There might be some proprietary technology or ingredient or just so much research yeah. and development that goes into creating a product that makes it that amazing. Yeah. And I think like, even if they did come out with a product that was exactly the same, I think we'd be like, what's going on, yeah. right? So we, we don't like, actually, cat. yeah, <laughs> you don't really want it to be exactly the same. So there's always slight differences that we can appreciate and maybe not so much depending yeah. on each of our situations. And at the end of the day, this is why we always talk about ingredients within these, you know, original products that we're duping because let's say before you get the very expensive product. And you can always try the more affordable version. And if the ingredient works well with your skin type, you can graduate to the more expensive. Graduate. Graduate. So with that, Felicia, this is some of your favorite segments. <laughs> I'm quaking <laughs> because you said my full name. Felicia, what is something you learned this week? I'm always a big believer of like, age is just a number mm -hmm. and that I don't think we have to like necessarily fill the shoes of what it, it means to be an adult because I think that definition is very different for everyone. But actually what's more important is actually keeping that childlike wonder, wonder innocence, you. youth, yeah. You know when you're a kid, nothing scares you you just go out you're like half naked you have a big belly and like everyone I thinks you're cute it. and then one day life makes it not okay for you to have a big belly and go out naked <laughs> but like that aside you know you're like 
You're almost starry-eyed. You're very open to yeah. learning. So I think there's actually a lot that we can learn from a younger self yeah. and that kind of innocent quality without being jaded, mm -hmm. but also in a more mature light, mm. right? Picking, backing, picking, picking, picking backing. backing, picking, backing off of you, piggybacking off of Felicia. Saying your full name again. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do wrong? Oh my God, it is like a kid. Yes, mom. <laughs> yes, I like boo. <laughs> as we age, as we grow up, like you start with a bare face, mm. okay, when you're born. And then as you age, the experiences that you have, you start putting on different lenses. Mm. Just imagine like different glasses. They're yeah. all different colors. They're all different shapes and sizes. And as you're an adult, I just feel like you have like a stack of glasses yeah. in front of you, right? So it's like the lens in which we look at the world through. And just like Fal said, I think it's important a lot of times to take off like the full stack of glasses to be like, what is my true reality? What is truth? Yeah. Mm. Also realizing that we have our own biases and we have our own like perspectives, which may or may not be true. But at the end of the day, it's important to be more open-minded. Yeah. And when you know your truth, you can accept other people because yeah. they won't agree for certain things. Yeah. But that's... Even if your truths differ, mm. right? I think like the more you get to know yourself, the more you get to see the world through like unfiltered lenses, the more you realize how different we all are. Yeah. But that's a part of life. Yes. So we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you have any other specific products or brands that you want us to try find dupes on, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. 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 That was not coordinated, but we did well. Good job. <laughs>